bear with me with a story right now. Recently, I've had a friend who've had, who's had cancer for the last few weeks. It's been a sudden decline in her health, and I called up a girlfriend to talk about it. As I was telling the story, I said, God, it reminds me of my mom's first wife when I was young, and I remember her basically dying for years in our home. And she goes, wow, that's a lot triggered on top of already our friend sick. And it didn't dawn on me before the conversation of, oh yeah, that would make sense, right? And the same age, and there's just a lot of coincidences. So why I bring this up is not the true fact that cancer sucks. It is more of that often in our life, there can be triggers to our past. So here I am holding the fact that my friend is sick and not well. So that is emotional hold. And I'm holding maybe some unprocessed feelings of when I was a little girl watching my girlfriend, my mom's girlfriend, die of cancer in the home. So it's even heavier. And often we may hold this and have no awareness of how much emotionally we're holding. For instance, maybe you're getting mad at your boyfriend for not seeing you and you have a history as a child of not being seen. So it's one aspect and another aspect. Or maybe you got blamed all the time for something as a child. And then at work, you're blamed for doing something that you didn't do. And it's the present and the past. So I encourage you to look at these things. And when they're doubly hard like this, we can get triggered more. We can be more reactive. People, we may feel like people don't understand why it's emotionally so hard. And this would be hard anyways, and you're holding this. So this is where I think therapy can be really, really helpful to help us with this and with this. So we're not holding us as much. And so when this does happen, because crap happens in life, we're not holding so much on both sides. So I wish you luck. I hope this makes sense. Feel free to watch this over and over again. And Take a moment, take a little introspection when you feel angry or a strong emotion and go, what is this really about? And it could be about this, and it could be about this, and it could be about both. Or it could be something totally different. I wish you luck. Good work for watching these videos.